want to play this because this is fucking hilarious have you guys seen this have you guys fucking seen this this for me made me laugh so fucking hard i couldn't couldn't not stop not laughing so this is courtesy of um rick glassman's podcast and it features brian callen being asked about fucking algorithms and the way he answers this is fucking hilarious the way he edited it as well is really really rude so let's watch this video quickly i'll show you what i mean you know how algorithms work yeah that's explain impressive. it to me I think an algorithm is something that uh, you could say, I don't know. No, I think I do know. An algorithm is, um, I guess it's a, it's a mathematical equation where you put, you can, you, you essentially, uh, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so, you, you do, you could, you, you want, you want. Again, you could say, so, I don't so, know. so like an option would be an algorithm, right? No. What is an algorithm? Oh yeah! One more time, one more time, one more time. You know Come how on. algorithms work? Yeah. That's Explain impressive. it to me. I think an algorithm is something that. Uh, you could say, I don't know. No, I think I do know. An algorithm is. Um, I guess it's a it's a mathematical equation where you put you can you you essentially. Uh, um, you had you. You you could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want again you could say so I don't so, know. so like an option would be an algorithm right no what is an algorithm oh yeah yo I love this only because this is the best example that you ever need as to why people in general have fallen out of love of podcasts especially com comedy based podcasts because the reason why comedy based podcasts were great was because they were funny and they basically allowed you to kind of tap out from your regular scheduled fucking harass no regular scheduled troubles in life they kind of allowed you to have a place to just kind of laugh uncontrollably at these guys funny stories and because more more importantly the host um, of these podcasts didn't take themselves too seriously right it wasn't something that they'd go on to sp start spouting about politics or new stuff or societal stuff it was just a place to be fucking silly then over time maybe because of ads Maybe because of money they were making, maybe because of fame, I don't know. But these guys and girls started to take themselves way too seriously. They started to actually believe that they were smarter than what they were just because they had the ability to kind of garner viewership on a podcast. And really the reason why we were all there is because they were funny. And then they decided to turn it into a basis of being trying, trying to display how intellectual they are, how aware they were, and blah, -de blah, blah, blah. And this is in part why I feel like comedy-based podcasts have kind of fallen off. They're just not as funny as they once were and they all take themselves too seriously. In this particular case, to be a little bit fair to Brian, it's difficult nowadays because the whole point of a podcast is that you're meant to speak about shit. So somebody's asking you something, because you're on a pod, you sort of feel inclined to talk like you know what you're talking about because you're speaking on a podcast. There's not an opportunity to kind of like, you know, be like, you know, acquiescing, like, you know what, I don't know, I'm not really too sure. You always feel like you should know what you're talking about because somebody asks you the question. But I feel like a real strength in somebody, I've always said this, a real strength in a person is the ability to say, I don't know. It's an ability to be honest about you know the limits of your comprehension the limits of your understanding the limits of your knowledge that actually makes for a far better interview for a far better podcast and for far better content in general personally for me but if you look at brian callan's history he's always been a bit of a you know wannabe pseudo intellectual that's always been a thing he's kind of put his hat on because he's the type of person who will go on like goodreads he would go on like Wikipedia with the summary of a fucking book. He's basically the white version of fucking LeBron James. You know, LeBron James is always pictured with a fucking book opening the first fucking 10 pages. And he never finishes one. He wants to appear like his intellectual as opposed to just reading a fucking book. I think Brian does the same thing with his book summaries. He goes on fucking Goodreads. He reads the fucking book summary of a very topical book and then starts spouting off his opinions or most likely what he will probably end up doing is listen to a podcast or watching a video of somebody else summarizing a book and then fucking basing his views and opinions off of the basis of that. So in his case, he's always kind of looked upon it. And if you look at some of his old fucking podcast from the you know mixed mental arts to the brian cannon show they were always um centered on being intellectual on being smart when he's a professional stand-up comedian i never really understood that um he could have been way more successful with his own individual podcast if obviously he was more consistent and wasn't so lazy but if he also did them and they were just funny 
but he didn't. They were always based on fucking him trying to be smart. He'd have that bookless book club bullshit that he was trying to do with Sam Tripoli. He had obviously the mixed mental arts. Um, what else did he have? Um, the Callum show where he was doing certain things and challenges and whatever. It was just nonsense sort of type of stuff. So it was funny to see um, Rick Glassman call him out on that sort of shit. But again, this could have been so avoided by just saying, hey, I don't know how algorithm works. Most of us probably don't. The most thing that I know about algorithms is that they're just a, it's a, some sort of calculations or it's like a set of instructions or something in computer language. That's all I basically know about the premise of an algorithm. For the lack for, you know, most likely I use the word algorithm in the wrong way when we're kind of trying to describe certain things about how the internet works or how social media works. But in terms of what it actually means, that's as far as it goes. But I'm not going to sit there and start pretending that I fucking know how, how they work and describing them in fucking excessive detail. Especially... If I'm a stand-up comedian, that's not what I should be doing. Make a fucking joke out of it. But he's trying to be serious. He's trying to speak with some sort of level of knowledge. And then he gets absolutely embarrassed. And I fucking love it. I fucking love it. So big up Rick Glassman for doing that. You are a fucking G, my friend. You are a fucking G.